The Golden State squad coming through the tunnel earlier with the Warrior faithful anxiously awaiting their arrival on the floor. We are live. It's a Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Last season, Stephen Curry set the all-time record for three-pointers made. He said, hopefully I can push it to a number that nobody else can reach. I never wanted to call myself the greatest shooter until I got that record. I'm comfortable saying that now. Kevin, he's not the only one. Yeah, pretty unanimous, David. You're right. Thank you. And, Greg, you were talking about this. What you appreciate about this matchup, the team-first mindset on both sides. Very unselfish. And we're going to see guys moving the ball. And, Kevin, they play for one another. That's why these clubs rack up so many assists. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. They've got Jones. Richardson is out there with McCollum. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Ingram. And it's the power forward position. And for Golden State, the three great shooters out there for him, Curry and Poole in the backcourt with Thompson at the three. Tremont Green is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Now here's Thompson. Back to Curry. Fires the three. Alan Junis grabs the board. McCollum deciding where to go with it. Pass to Richardson. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. Valanciunas. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Well, the effort and the power that Valanciunas can play with puts him in great position to grab rebounds like that. Thompson outside. Shoots from 12. Count that one. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Outside, Jones. Curry against McCollum. Passes it to Jones. Count it. Good. Here's Curry. Thompson outside. The pass to Poole. Tries from 16. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Richardson finds Ingram and slam dunk by Ingram. I like seeing Josh Richardson distribute the ball, especially when his teammates are wide open. That makes for an easy pass. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. And it's Wiggins missing. For New Orleans, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Back to McCollum. Pass to Valanciunas. Back to McCollum. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. And the way C.J. McCollum Gray can get a shot up while moving, that's a big part of his game, isn't it? Yeah, very few players can shoot as well as McCollum on the run. Applies for his pull-up jumpers or when he's falling out of bounds. McCollum, one of the best in the league. And here's McCollum after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Richardson, that's a two-pointer. Here's Valanciunas. And Valanciunas just needs a little bit of airspace. He's so big, easy for him to get to the rim. Pass to Poole. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Curry looking around. Thompson finds Curry. Five on the clock. This one for three. Pelicans with the rebound. Alan Junis has got five rebounds tonight. McCollum passes to Jones. Back to McCollum. Feeds it to Valanciunas. Over Wiggins. Here's Ingram. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. And they made Ingram fight for that one. But he's not afraid to get physical. This is a good sign. And you look at the way Ingram can get off a shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create 
like he can. Two shots. Back from the first. first one falls for him. A creator indeed, and the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. Yeah, and that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. It makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. Old free throws, good for Ingram. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being timeout, too timeout. aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, Greg, we're in the final stages of the regular season. For teams that are on the outside looking in, what are these final games like? You have to continue to play hard because GMs are watching these games, seeing who packs it in and who continues to grind. So your future is at stake. And a chance here to check out some stats for Clay Thompson. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, bangs home the trifecta. And Wiggins is shooting it with confidence. Man, he's a threat to put up some big numbers. McCollum kicks to Richardson. Jones in the post. It's up against Thompson. I don't know what happened there. That was an easy two points that he just threw away. Here's Poole. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Poole playing aggressive on the inside, just forcing the defense to come at him. The Warriors shooting their first free throws here tonight. Shooting two. That's good from Poole. And guys, things are looking up in New Orleans. The extension for Zion Williamson reflecting his commitment to this young core. And with the eight pick in Dyson Daniels, that the Pels added to their bevy of young wing defenders. They're building a team to contend. All free throws, good from Poole. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. Well, that's a go-to for CJ. He looks to spray it from three-point line as much as he possibly can. Poole, the pass to Kirk. And here's Thompson. 23 points his last outing. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Poole. Just four to shoot. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Ingram dishes to Jones. New Orleans moving it around. Richardson against Curry. Here's Valanciunas. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump thing. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding and rising up off the ground. Now here's McCollum. His last outing, he had 24 points. The pass to Valanciunas. 
over Green. Warriors with the rebound. Fresh from a win against Portland. Yeah, it just felt to me like they wanted it more. I mean, didn't get down emotionally when they got behind. And, and how about that third quarter comeback? One for the ages. Cool, no good. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Jones kicks to Richardson. Jones with the bounce pass. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by Jones. And that's now six points for Valanciunas. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Poole, the pass to Green. Now, here's Poole. Not three off the mark. Poole against Richardson. Knocked loose. It's three on three on the fast break. And Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. I, I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and oh, that really break. helps take your offense. Two so shots. much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Free throw good, Wiggins. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged, that's a big difference both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. I'm taking a look at the Pelicans. Lots of talent have come through that program over the years, and they're loaded now. Yeah, they've brought in some talent. They've done a good job in the draft and trying to find ways to hold on to these guys along with having a healthy Zion. If all that comes together, it's definitely going to help their chances to be more competitive. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Here's Marshall. Good D by Thompson. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Curry can't get it to go. Pelicans leading by three. Here's Marshall. Who's back up? And no good trying to use the glass. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. DiVincenzo passes to Kerr. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. And so it's New Orleans with it. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. DiVincenzo has to be agile on the interior, and that time finds a way to get it done. Pass to Alvarado. Marshall with it. McCollum kicks to Marshall. Pass to Alvarado. There's the three. That one, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And the Pelicans with possession here. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. Passes it to Alvarado. Ingram kicks to Marshall. Down low, here's McCollum. Man trying to break loose. And McCollum the bucket on the assist from Marshall. Lots of ways that CJ can burn you right there. Super effective on the inside. Thompson passes to Looney. Now DiVincenzo. Coming off a solid outing against Portland. Offensive rebound. Looney with the bucket. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Alvarado passes to Marshall. 
Now the pass to Alvarado. Off target with his three. Looking at the last game for the New Orleans Pelicans, it was a win against the Trailblazers in Portland. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And more artwork from the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Curry making it look easy. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Peyton comes in for Klay Thompson. New Orleans also making some changes. Murphy's checked in. And Daniels subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. Well, Brent, between major injuries and some high-profile roster turnover, it's been an up-and-down last couple years for the Warriors. Yeah, mostly due, Kevin, to injuries. I mean, through it all, they've managed to continue to play with joy. They've given a lot of guys opportunities to just be out there. And then you know, they drafted and rebuilt the team behind the big three to complement those guys as they found their health. So the, the run is still there for Golden State to do great things. And uh, winning a championship last year has them back on the top of the mountain. Here's Alvarado. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. So here's Murphy. Pass to Daniel. Shot clock at five. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Pelicans lead by two. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Peyton kicks to DiVincenzo. Curry on the wing. Here's Peyton. Outside for Curry. Pass to DiVincenzo. Second shot opportunity. And it's Daniels with the rebound. New Orleans has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. All right, a chance to check out stats for DiVincenzo. This past month, he's really set himself apart. And he's as opportunistic as anybody defensively, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in steals per game. And back to his efficiency from three, as you said, he's top 10 in the league. Defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball, uh, but really to no avail. That free throw missing. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. He hits the second from the line. 131 left in the first quarter of the game. Out left to the wing. Top of the key, Looney. He kicks to Green. Over Marshall. Here's Looney. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Looney in the right spot there. Good presence on the inside as he boxes the defense out and sends the ball right up. Passes it to Murphy. Back to Daniels. Fires from the line. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now here's Kaminga. He's guarded by Murphy. For three, first shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Here is Daniels. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. New Orleans moving the ball around. Oh, 
and the jam by Marshall. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. They get it back. Man, Looney is so long, gets up there and flushes it. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Warriors lead by two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball constantly in transition. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Trailing by two. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Green is out there with Kaminga. Then there's Gary Payton, the second. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Looney in at the center position. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. Poole, the pass to Payton. to pool it's rebounded by New Orleans McCollum outside outside Jones the pass to Murphy back to Richardson Alan Junis trying to free himself up Richardson no luck Warriors shooting about 33% not happy with the play on that end pool on the wing pass to Looney Now Peyton, here's the three. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Valanciunas has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Outside, Jones. Five to shoot. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. And that one falls for Jones. Some rookies take time to get acclimated to the NBA. But that was not the case with Herbert Jones. Yeah, Herb started his second game in the league. And for a second round pick to make that immediate of an impact, it's pretty rare in the NBA. He did play all four years of college ball, but he came in the NBA ready to rock. So one for two that time at the strike. And Brent is an NBA player. There's tremendous competition, but also shared respect, and some say a brotherhood. How does that all balance out? I think, Kevin, there's a clear line of delineation of what you're talking about once playoff time hits the NBA. I mean, during the regular season, you see a lot of guys spending some time with one another, but come playoff time, I'd be hard-pressed to find that kind of interaction because guys know what's on the line, they know what's at stake, and competition always reigns supreme. And here is Poole, following the three-pointer by C.J. McCollum. Poole on the wing. 29 points for him last game against Portland. New Orleans has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. D.A., thanks. 
Now here's McCollum. Ten points for him. Ingram kicks to McCollum. A miss that time would have put him up. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Thompson outside. Wiggins against McCollum. Wiggins right side. To the middle. Here's Curry. Banked in off the glass. Curry's got four points this quarter. And Wiggins is a capable passer. Someone that wants to hit a guy in the right spot. Pass to Jones. To the paint. He's looking for McCollum and finds him. Misses the layup. Warriors have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. The shot by Thompson, no good. McCollum with the ball. Now Green defending. Jones, no one around him. And the Pelicans miss again. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Warriors. The defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Second chance shot. The shot, no good. Nice deep from Valanciunas. Wiggins against Ingram. Over Wiggins. And the Pelicans miss again. Last game in New Orleans, they picked up the win against Port. Curry passes to Thompson. Near the three-point line, it's Poole. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And just another weapon that Jordan Poole has in his offensive arsenal. McCollum kicks to Richardson. Down low. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Richardson's got his first basket. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Back to Curry. Thompson for the triple. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Alan Junis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Richardson, no luck. Golden State's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Curry against Jones. Wiggins from outside. Connects from three-point range. Wiggins has got eight points. Well, if Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Richardson outside. Pass to Jones. That one drops, and he's now two for five. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Poole, the pass to Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, Draymond's IQ on the defensive end is so high level. I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from. Usually it's from guys who score a lot of points in the NBA, but what he did defensively, he can communicate that quite well. That's good from Green. Green's broadcasting has even helped his opponents in some cases. Yours probably has too, Kevin, in some instances. But with Draymond, I think what's cool is guys are listening. And when Draymond starts to talk about some of the techniques he uses or some of the things he's looking out for, uh, guys understand that that could improve their game. So why not take it from one of the best in the business? Now here's McCollum. Ten points for him. Jones finds McCollum. Valentin is with the ball. It's Richardson on the wing. Guarded by Poole. Richardson no luck. And another miss. Ooh. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Poole with it. And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. Thompson. And that one hits back iron. Pelicans trail by five. In the corner, it's Richardson. Oh, 
from down low. There it is, his second make of the game. He's missed five. Well, Richardson came in shooting threes and thought that might be the only thing he time could out, do. He's no one-trick pony. Timeout called the Warriors. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. And a quick look at the numbers for Stephen Curry. And he's a flamethrower from distance. Top 10 in the league and three-point shoot. And you never see him get nervous when he steps to the line. That's why he's second in the league in free throw percentage. And the Warriors miss again. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Here's Marshall. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins has got four rebounds now tonight. Thompson finds Green, and it's Green with the jam. Well, you're always looking to see if somebody has a better shot, even if your name's Clay Thompson. Nice dish. The pass to Marshall. Trains it from nine feet away. Marshall's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look. The defense has allowed that the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now, here's Thompson. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. Pass to DiVincenzo. Wiggins outside. And it's Wiggins with the jam. And, man, I love it when Wiggins gets vertical. Such an impressive athlete. Pass to Marshall. And here's Daniels. Kicks to Marshall. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Thompson. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Pelicans shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. The first one falls. Different look here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Green. Jermichael Green comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Thompson. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Stephen Curry. And the Pelicans also making a change. Murphy's checked in. Marshall hits them both. Warriors leading by three. On the wing, Payton. Tipped away. It's stolen by Nance. Here is Daniels, covered by Peyton. Daniels kicks to Murphy. Back to Daniels. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Playing as a team so crucial. Let's see the NBA's best. The Warriors, number one. Now, the beauty of watching this team is seeing the ball move around the court. It doesn't stick. That's why they're at the top of that list. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Oh, 
He dishes it to Kaminga. Yeah, easy call. The Warriors have been a perfect 8-of-8 eight eight at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. And so he hits both. Pelicans trail by five. Passes to Daniels. Murphy inside. Defended by Kaminga. Here's Nance. That one a little long. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. They get it back. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And they have been really active on the boards this quarter. Those second chance points are keeping them in the game. Nance with it. Looney on him. Nance dishes to Marshall. The pass to Alvarado. Lock at six. Tries again. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Kavon Looney. He's really made that a focus of his game these past few years, and it's paid big-time dividends for him. He's become a much better rebounder, and it's increased his value as a player by leaps and bounds. And the first one drops. Both good from the line that time. 151 left to play in the first half. DiVincenzo passes to Payton. Now here's Kaminga. He's guarded by Murphy. Kaminga, no good. Pelicans trail by five. And here's Murphy. Dishes to Nance. He kicks it to Marshall. The second chance effort. And Looney sends it back. Well, nice defense from Looney, able to totally upset the shot because of his positioning. Now, here is Murphy. He's guarded closely. Inside, Marshall. Nance trying to break loose. Marshall can't hit. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Here's Green. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Warriors lead by seven. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Pass to Daniel. And a miss there on the triple. Warriors leading by seven. Kaminga up top. Another shot. And the rebound goes to Murphy. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. 
On the wing, Di Vincenzo. To the inside. Kaminga the pass to Looney. He gets it up. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Warriors ahead, up by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 15. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and we've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They led by two after the first. Well, for the Warriors, Kenny, what's your viewpoint? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans play? Ernie, they're taking way too many threes. The offense has no rhythm. They need to go back to the drawing board. Maybe try to get a little bit more transition, more off the pick and roll. Anything other than shooting that three, it's not going. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Andrew Wiggins really making a difference here. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. So for New Orleans right now, C.J. McCollum out there with Josh Richardson. Then it's Ingram. Then it's Jones. And it's Valanciunas and at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Ingram. Back to McCollum. Let's the three fly. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Thompson with the bucket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And you know, one of the unsung heroes of the Warriors championship teams, Kevon Looney. Oh, totally understands his role. And a rotation guy who can start for you. But how much consistency did he provide in that 2022 season and championship run? This guy has battled some injuries, but he has always been reliable for the Warriors. Here's Curry after the made shot from Jonas Valanciunas. Poole finds Green. Golden State moving it around. Here's Looney. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Outside, Jones. McCollum outside. Just five on the clock. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And Thompson kicks it to Looney. Now Poole. Nice deep from Valanciunas. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. It's good again in an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. Well, focus from Looney coming in there as he did not alter his shot one bit. Confident in that attempt. Cool against Richardson. Back to Jones. 
over Thompson. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got six rebounds now in the game. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Wiggins is checked in for Kevon Looney. Here's McCollum. He's got 10. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Allinger is trying to free himself up. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Well, a little physicality for a little guy goes a long way, but a little physicality from a big guy, that goes down Tunis's way. Now, here's Curry. He's got nine. Thompson passes to Curry. Launches a three. Nailed from three-point land. Curry's got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Outside, Jones. McCollum outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now here's Green. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Warriors. Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance opportunities. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. The free throw drops for Green. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And, Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays. But he can also vocalize it to the audience. And, of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. Both free throws good from Green. Amazing to think about Draymond Green and the career arc he's had thus far. He really can guard any time position out, out. on the floor. He can make plays. Really a unique talent. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. K.D., uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. on D. Pass to Ingram. It's Richardson on the wing. Back to Ingram. Shot clock at six. Over Wiggins. And it's Ingram missing. 
Warriors leading by 12. Thompson passes to Green. Nice deed from Valanciunas. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Ingram laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Ingram's got six points. Ingram with the effort and the length, that wiry frame helping him get in for that rebound. Green passes to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. Wiggins against Ingram. Near the three-point line, it's Poole, and the Warriors miss again. They've been able to have some team success in this game, despite what's been an awful shooting night for them. Wiggins against Richardson. Here's Valanciunas off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. The Warriors have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. McCollum dishes to Richardson. He feeds it to Ingram. Alan Jun is trying to free himself up. Just love it when B.I. gets up like that and just stretches out for two. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Here's Poole. Here's Wiggins. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Ingram's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Kicks to Jones. Richardson outside. McCollum outside. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. No good from Valanciunas. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backdoor. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. McCollum finds Richardson. Back to McCollum. Shoots over Curry. No good that time. So Golden State will take it the other way. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? The first free throw is good. Different look here for the Warriors. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Green. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Gary Payton has checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Jordan Poole. And both free throws good for Curry. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, That'll help them seal the deal. Passes it to Daniels. Alan June is with the ball. Lays it up and banks it in. Alan June has got 12 in the game. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Even Chenzo with it. Outside, Green. Rebound by Marshall. Pelicans trail by eight. Here's Alvarado. There's the pass to Valanciunas. Over Peyton. No good from Valanciunas. Golden State's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's covered by Daniels. DiVincenzo can't hit it. New Orleans has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Daniels passes to Alvarado. Pass to Murphy from outside the arc. Warriors with the rebound.
Now here is DiVincenzo. Tight defense on him. Back to Kaminga. The dish to Peyton. Three pointer. No good. Shot missing. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Pelicans have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Warriors leading by seven. Back to Curry. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Peyton. Down to five on the shot clock. Curry's shot is off. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Here's Alvarado. To the left side wing. And a wide open look for Valanciunas. And he's good on the three ball. Valanciunas has got nine points here in the second half. Pass to DiVincenzo. Curry is inside over Alvarado. Off the mark, and the drop continues. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? And it's the Warriors with the ball. Following the score by New Orleans. And there's the pass to Curry. I'm deep. No, no he did. Oh, 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 don't hold the ball. That is amazing. Pass to Valanciunas. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It is amazing how good a three-point shooter Jonas Valanciunas has become. Well, he didn't attempt a three in his first five years at the NBA. And now he's shooting a ton of them. So he's got great feel, great touch. And it's done a lot to round out his game. Shooting two. The first one falls. There are ways to get a guy like Jonas Valanciunas to be aggressive in a game. You got to feed the big man. So get him the ball earlier and get it to him often. And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. Valanciunas hits them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Curry dishes to Peyton. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's covered by Daniels. Pelicans trail by three. Murphy against Payton. Pass to Valanciunas. Over Looney. And Curry pulls it down. Curry's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
Payton right side. Passes to DiVincenzo. He kicks it to Curry. Over Alvarado. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Marshall's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Daniels. Count it. Daniels has got eight points. Oh, great ball movement there. Golden State's gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Outside Curry. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Six seconds left to play in the third. Curry outside. It's off. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Warriors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Right back after this break. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. We've got to get the first domino to fall, and then it's boom, boom, boom. The extra pass. We're not running plays to get a shot. We're running plays to get the domino to fall. So move the ball, drive and kick, we'll get great shots. All right? Well, he's preaching team chemistry right now, Greg. And he wants more ball movement because that makes everything simple. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The three great shooters out there for him, Curry and Poole in the backcourt with Thompson at the three. In the post, you'll see Wiggins and Looney. That's the Warriors' five. Now here's Ingram, and it's good for two. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Poole finds Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Wiggins against Ingram. Six to shoot. It's Curry outside. And Jones pulls it down. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Alvarado. Kicks it out to Richardson. And trying to break loose. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Golden State's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Curry passes to Poole. Fires from deep. Warriors the rebound. Looney. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, the defender was all over Kevon Looney. And he got physical right back. That's a nice play. And he can't get the first one. Well, if you have the good fortune of playing next to superstars in this league, there are certain guys who thrive in that environment, and Kevon Looney has been one of them. And he's good on the second. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Richardson outside. McCollum dishes to Valanciunas. And the pass to Richardson from 12 feet out. Wiggins with the rebound. Wiggins has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And the Warriors miss again. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. And that one's good, Ingram. Brandon Ingram at that size constantly has a shooting window that's open. Curry kicks it to Looney. Pass to Curry. Down low. And another shot. 
And it's Wiggins missing. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass to Jones. Inside. Here's Richardson. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Warriors have gone just 1 of 6 in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Thompson. And the rejection by Valanciunas. It's Ingram on the wing. The quick look no good that time. Golden State's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Thompson inside the line. Here's Looney. Pelicans pull it in. McCollum outside. And stolen by Wiggins. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. The three from Poole. It's not going to go for him. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Poole against Richardson. To take the lead. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Warriors shooting just 28%. They are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Curry kicks to Poole. It's up a three. Offensive rebound. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Richardson outside. And a missed late. Curry from deep three-point land. And again, no good by Golden State. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Jones, no luck. Jones has gone two for seven, struggling a bit. The kick out to Poole. Passes it to Wiggins. To the paint, here's Curry. That falls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. 19 points for Stephen Curry. Curry inside, skilled at reading the defense and getting into the open. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Yeah, smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Looney. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Willie Green had some words for his team during the break. And even though they're down, he was confident. He said, look, guys, I've got all the confidence in the world in you. We've been down this road before. You know what we need to do. Kevin, let's see if they can overcome this deficit. All right, thank you, David. Here's Poole. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. Launches it. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. Richardson outside. And there's the pass to Jones. Back to Richardson. 
just five to shoot. No good off the back of the rim. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Near the three-point line, it's Poole, and it's Ingram with the rebound. Ingram's got 11 rebounds in the game. Looking to end his cold spell. Goes back up. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut to just one on the basket from Valanciunas. And I think Valanciunas is Lithuanian for can't miss. I'll have to look that up. Curry outside. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. He's shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front. But at least they're tied up. Curry kicks to Poole. Good work defensively by Richardson. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end. And that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now Thompson following the three-point attempt by C.J. McCollum. Back to Thompson. The three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. McCollum's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Valanciunas inside. Curry meets him. And they take the lead. Valanciunas has got four this quarter. And that's where Jonas is going to do most of his damage. Down low, playing physical, and knocking guys around. Outside, Green. To the middle. Here's Curry. Green breaking loose. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Green. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. Cullen passes to Jones. Here's Richardson. Guarded by Poole. Richardson outside. Here's Jones. Alan Jones trying to free himself up, and he drops it in from the low post. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. Pass to Poole. Now here's Curry. Buries it from three-point range. Curry's got 15 points here in the second half. He has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half, guys. Outside, Jones. Now here's McCollum. Down low. The 11-footer, Valanciunas, good. Valanciunas has got 23 points. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. Up top, Curry. He dishes it to Green. Some nice passing by Golden State. Shot clock at three. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got three assists tonight. McCollum with the bounce pass. And there's the feed to Jones. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. They get Stephen Curry. And he knocks 
down the first one. The Pelicans making a switch here. Alvarado's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. The Warriors shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. Thompson finds Wiggins. Green breaking loose. And the shot is long. Ingram against Wiggins. Fires from 14. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Back to Thompson. And it's Ingram with the rebound. New Orleans gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Over Wiggins. The shot. No good. The Warriors go the other way. They've held a 12-point lead early. And it's been a tough game for him offensively. Well, for New Orleans, shooting only 35% in the fourth quarter, the offense looking a little rickety. Pass to Alvarado. Now Jones. One thirty-five left to play here in the fourth. Good D by Thompson. Looking to get back on track here. Cool, no good. The Pelicans shooting just 34% from the floor. And Jones has it in the corner. Kicks it out to Richardson. And the Pelicans miss again. Well, sometimes you just have an off night, guys, and that's what we've seen so far. It's Curry outside. And they'll get another chance. Oh, tough play underneath there to give them another possession. Just what they were hoping for. A little more time off the clock. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're behind by three. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, C.J. McCollum. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Fifty-two seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Ingram. Misses the step back jump shot. Thompson outside. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. And Thompson is so cool under duress. His easygoing personality aiding him in these types of situations. It's the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. With the picture-perfect shooting form, Clay Thompson is pretty much money in the bank in these moments. Yeah. 
so he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. And he drives in over Wiggins. Offensive rebound. The shot comes out. And you know, you can see in his eyes, he knows that is not a dunk he should have missed. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Timeout call here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. against Richardson and they call an illegal screen here uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense you have to blow the whistle yeah a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention foul call on offense here are the Warriors they're on a 15 to 6 run Here's Jerome. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan along with